This is Jason W. Chan's take. Today's story is about a real-life Annabelle doll cursed by inhuman spirit put on display with one rule. Now, I don't know about you, but I find these dolls really freaky. There's something about their human likeness that freaks me out. I mean, they look like us, but they're not us. They're like tiny caricatures of us. Annabelle was thrust into the limelight by the conjuring, but she's all too real. Now the possessed doll is being put back on display, and there's an eerie warning for visitors. The real-life Annabelle doll, made famous from the Conjuring franchise, is set to be put on display, and its owners have set out a very eerie warning. While you may have thought the allegedly haunted Raggedy Ann doll may have been a figment of director James Wan's imagination, she's all too real. Annabelle has been dubbed as one of the scariest toys in the world, with some claiming she moves on her own due to being inhabited by an inhuman spirit. This I actually believe in. That's really scary. Freaky as hell. But on October 28th, the possessed puppet is being put on display at the Earth Expo and Convention Center in Montville, Connecticut, sealed shut in a glass cabinet. And visitors are being advised to strictly avoid touching Annabelle with a sign reading, warning positively, do not open. Oh, right here. The real doll picture isn't quite as nasty looking as the one in the film, but don't be fooled. Yeah, this one looks like a, an actual Raggedy Ann doll, while the one in the film is too... There is something about her expression that just freaks me out. She's smiling, but in an evil kind of way, not in a happy, harmless, innocent way, right? Annabelle was first brought to the silver screen in 2013, Flick the Conjuring, before setting off on her own terrifying trilogy a year later. Juan's horror extraordinaire was actually based on purported true events, which saw demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren investigate the paranormal events. The story goes that the doll's Hartford base owners claimed that a seven-year-old girl named Annabelle Higgins had died in the apartment and its spirit had latched itself onto the doll. The warrant took Annabelle home and during the journey, the pair claimed that the doll got so lively, including jamming their car's brakes, that Ed had to douse it with holy water. It apparently did the trick. Oh, so this is actually... Supposedly a true event. Okay, and this is the dramatization of the purported true event. Okay. These are the real Warrens. And this that's the movie. Those are the actors. Those are the actors. These are the real people demonologists, the psychics. The paranormal artifact became part of their spooky occult museum collection, which they kept in their Monroe, Connecticut home. One man who visited the museum ignored the do not touch signs and taunted the doll. He allegedly died in a motorbike crash on his way home with his partner fighting for her life. Now Annabelle is being paraded once more at the worn seekers of the supernatural Phantasmacon. This is the only place in the world you will be able to view the real Annabelle doll that inspired the Annabelle movies. A statement on its website read. Yeah, that is freaky. Anyway, I'm going to heed that warning and do not open or touch or taunt or anything. The... Supernatural are best left alone. What do you guys think? Do you believe in cursed dolls and the supernatural? Leave your comments below. If you've been following my channel long enough, you know that I do. And I believe wholeheartedly in this one rule. If you don't bother the supernatural, they will not bother you. So it's like relating to another human being, right? Don't bother someone else, they won't bother you. Anyway, leave your comments below. This has been Jason W. Chan's take. As usual, keep pursuing your dreams and passions.